Buzzing. Okay. Dat is het. Zo is het begin niet goed. Eeuw. Guess what I'm doing. Should be nigh impossible, right? I guess we wait for... <clears throat> I probably should have, you know... Well, I guess now we just sit here and talk. I mean, how's... How's your day been? Waiting on a thing, it's been pretty good, that's good. I should have waited, but I didn't. I opened up three different things. Man, my... I'm gonna go get more lotion. Yeah. I have acquired lotion. Okay, I have lotion on my hand. Time to rub it. <laughs> If I crank up my hair. <laughs> it's been good. I discovered something just before I started streaming, though. I could show you in a sec. After I... Ugh! Get on my hands! Get in my hands! Hydrate them! Because I'm tired of my hands breaking. Oh, I can just never touch you again. Ugh. I hate lotion. I'm not sure how well this is gonna translate. I mean, it's been good. Would you like to see the thing I figured out just before I started streaming? Ugh, gross. My hands feel all clammy now. Okay. Okay. So if I were to just jack that up. And then... I'm not sure if you can hear that. I noticed... Because, you know, I had... Previously I was doing stuff with a friend. And I had jacked up my mic quality because he had audio problems and I thought it was on my end, but it was on his end, you know, whatever. I, I saw just before I started streaming that it was picking up, like, me rubbing my hands together because I was putting lotion on before that. And then when I got closer, I was like, I bet this thing could pick up my heartbeat. And then I picked it up and put it against my chest and it picked up my heartbeat. Um, peaceful we are, pleased and welcomed and easy. I'm just, let me go back real quick and, oh, that's weird. Hey, hello. I'm on the stream. Do I need to be quieter? No, I'm going to. That's fine. Did you guys hear my heart beating? Subtitles on, good. Quality. 
Just checking up on stuff. Additional content. Activate. I'm just gonna go with everything's alright and just hope everything's alright. We're just gonna... But I didn't know it was your... Yeah, I could just pick up the thing, crank it, crank my mic sensitivity up, and then just plant the mic against my chest. I'm like, I wonder if they can hear that. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. My glove was talking to me. <laughs> We've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelome City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. I feel like motion blur's on. Can I can I change that? I would like to turn motion blur off. <laughs> uh, camera settings. Controls. Is that under quality? Uh, motion blur. Yeah, let's just have that off. Lightness changes. Yes. All the other Soviet republics live here, That's a bit the better. German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. I hate you. Whoa. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? I Sure, thanks. Uh. Thank you. You like down that sucker. Did you say your owl got stuck? Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. <laughs> still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. I feel like that person's having troubles with their boat. What's up with your Vovas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been lying there all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. They're... Give me your control code. I'll settle straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. I feel like that's important. I remember that. 0451. Get to work, you bums. Move it. Move it. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. And enjoy the celebration. I hate those things. They're... Gross. Oh. Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. The waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more <laughs> important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. Okay. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. The, I never ask me how to pronounce any of these people's names. I will immediately butcher it, and I am sorry for that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. I'm working on it. The boat will let me out. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. Screw you, you dickhead. <laughs> Can I move? Am I playing? Game looks pretty. Oh. 
Game saved. If I left click, will I punch you? Oh, no. I tried. I... I'm like... I move. I am not slow. Ugh! What's wrong with your face? It's... Ugh. Nice. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Uh what's going on in your body? So, what's going on in biology right now? Oh. <laughs> I read that Everything, wrong. Everything, <laughs> comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. I'll take 50. Damn, that's a lot of time. I'll never die. I'll just go down the list, I guess. New in robotics. Please say me. The way things are going, ah. in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. Terrifying, but okay. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. That's fine. Just have a massive egg giga brain. I'm asking as a professional. I There's am professional. A piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic oh. weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. You could have done that with your fingers. That for Three spin. to five. A shooting range, of course. Yes, shooting range. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. Bye. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you, Comrade Major? May I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter. But it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. How do I... That's... Everything I'm seeing is screaming... Game saved! <laughs> Everything I'm seeing is just screaming... Uh, this is about to be a post-apocalyptic dystopia. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here seems so happy and content. Exactly. China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Slow down, son. Was just the village herbalist. Well, there's just a lonely wolf, my little sorceress. Look. Gross. <laughs> fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. <laughs> it's like there's something stuck in my head, but I. It's not me. I can't figure out what it is. Look. Crispy critters, man. Such breathtaking beauty. Fuck. Watch your language, major. We're How dare you? Yeah, whatever. I got a card. Reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Yes. <laughs> this is the future of Soviet education. A no. project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, 
A university level natural scientist curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me. Of course, foreplay. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial can I just go... polymer injection. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I'm expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed P3. that you're an arrival. Here, take this capsule. Is this gonna... Will I just... I am not... Oh, I, I digest it through my hand, apparently. <laughs> you want it? Mmm, <laughs> delicious pill. <laughs> Scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. I don't like the way you said to eyes. Activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. So I point at things. Index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Bang! Oh, shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Aww. I was hoping I'd point at things. Okay. You know what? Um. Do I play with it? Do I play this with a controller or just my keyboard? Ugh. <laughs> Let's... Mouse. Mouse. Yes. Hold left alt. What? Oh, why that? Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, loser. Sign me up. Did you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? <laughs> Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? Getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. There are robots building robots. I thought that was a person. <laughs> Is that the reddit symbol? No. It's not. It's close, but it's not. I heard goosh. Oh, it was liquid. I was correct. Jeez, holding W. Ah. Loser. <laughs> I wish to learn how to smooth. To be honest, I'd take this guy over you. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, uh. Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Did I lose you for a second? That's a fat robot! Look at him go! Nah. For a second there, I thought I went easy. 
To be honest, when he said, uh, welcome to the future, I thought all of those drones were about to start massacring people. Shut up! You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. A world in left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. Jeez! I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just Ugh. so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Which button do I push? They're moving. Is this. Oh, it is the elevator. Okay, can I sit down? This is a long elevator. Game does look good. It looks gorgeous. Look at the look at the metal. Look at the reflections. I don't have a reflection. I'm a vampire. I feel like this man's individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace red, black, teal, yellow, and so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantity. Yes. Maybe. Shut up! Talk about style. Science oh. is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove. Whoa. Here's your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Why are you on your tippy toes? Also, why are you so tall? I thought you had tiny eyeballs. They're... Oh, those are cool. I want one. I can crouch. Can I sprint? <laughs> They'll never see me coming. I don't bring off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chelame? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. Yep. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on Dope. the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach <clears throat> the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest <laughs> reaches of the <laughs> universe. <laughs> I'm really helping humanity realize its own greatness. I You're wish I could see the Dr. entire of <laughs> fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern I wish that was true. Were described long ago in science fiction, flying machines, I wish to be travel, able to jump. even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, yes. to do great things. But unfortunately, there are you those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. I'm moving so You're slow. Boss. You're very relaxed about it, <clears throat> boy. Yes. I hope it won't come to that. I'm a hitman. Let's take it one step at a I time. I hit things, and First, I am a man. You'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Can I be one of those twins up there? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. No, I'm not! The car's way over there! <laughs> Be literal. <laughs> Those are not robots. Those are people. Sure, it's a solid machine.
I didn't even touch the lock. That's cool. Please tell me I'm not driving because I will immediately kill someone. Ah. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Um. Oh, that's how you're gonna grab me. I thought you were gonna pick me Isn't up. There's supposed you? to be a radio in here. The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of collective <laughs> two point zero. Yeah, yeah. Yes. In every get it. City. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. Can I just have music? Actually, no, not music. I don't want to get DMCA. In response to widespread concern I'm fine with this. Done. How about some music? Oh, no! That's more like it. Uh, so, how are you guys? I'm just going to try and talk over this and make this less, you know, problematic, hopefully. I don't know. It's happening. But we're here. So it's great. We're, I'm just going to keep talking and look. Look. Can I look at Oh, look at that. Look. I can't look up the robot. That doesn't exist anymore. We're being held up by magic cables. Yes. And it's been less than an hour. Yes, it is. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr <laughs> Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. <laughs> the guy's a dick. Holy shit. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? No. Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. I guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Ooh. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding to this thing's gonna drop me, isn't it? It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Really funny. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs. Have you seen flying pigs? Uh, I really don't want to, man. Yeah, on the condor. One time, some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction, straight down. I have a suggestion, comrade major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. How dare you? The hell up, glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? <clears throat> I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. I really don't want to, so I'm just hoping this is just nonsense. Look, that woman has a sword. Big floaty ball. Birds. Wing. That's a cape. Flag. Look at the flag. Red. Uh, look at wheel. Uh, turning stick. Uh, there's a Russian letters. Radio. Ha! Can't hear the radio no more. Ha! <laughs> Just pop my leg. Where am I going? Audio guide. Oh, I'm going to the ground. At our destination. Am I going to that big gold ball? <sighs> what time is it right now? What do you mean that was a quiet pop? This technology Neat. was pioneered by the Chelemy Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Birds! That bird flew through solid stone. Can I do that? Oh. Uh. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the Star. various complexes. There are no wires on those telephone poles. 
plants such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. We nearly hit that. Yo, that drone has a red thing. <laughs> Look, ground. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center. The main radio processing... There's a spider bot down there. There's fat boys. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farm. Capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Wow, that's a lot of power. How do you get it all just from solar panels? Maglev solar panels are not that efficient. All of facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. It would be great if you just took me to the place I was supposed to go and I was supposed to punch someone in the, the face. Majestic call of the Motherland Monument. Erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory. There's in World two of War II, those. And are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov complex. I'm just now in. <sighs> numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptor Elena Kina no. and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomous Ball. erected in 1951 by the collective 1.0 neural network. He has a book. Robot builder. Everything's a robot builder. I'm gonna pop my neck. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Two different words. <clears throat> Major, the Trophy's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? What the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete jump. Fine. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. Cool. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Aren't you a robot? Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Oh. Fuck off, bitch. I have a feeling our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling. What? By air to Son of a bitch, not again. Again? That has a gun. I might die now. Heh, <laughs> I'm probably dead. <laughs> Lord of War. I don't know how I got that achievement, but okay. Or at least one part of it. Nip, nip. Vies nipies. Dup it up, it up, dup it up, it up. Come on, glove. Drag me to safety. Am I dead? Is this where I choose how I look? Is my glove making my lungs breathe for me? How am I not dead? <laughs> In your face, glove! <laughs> this is Atomic Heart. It is a new game that came out quite recently. Oh, shit, my head's killing me. This is our main character. 
It is about robots and dystopian, like, futuristic land. I just talked... I just came from a sky city, basically. After a bunch of robots tried to murder me. The robots also have very disturbing faces. Ooh, a pole. Use your telekinesis. I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> Why is this a custom designed axe? What is g This is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. That's not natural. Here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. Bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of out. Now, what the heck? Stupid chickens! Vengeance! You guys appear to be hostile. Let me help that. Help with that. Ha! <laughs> You're missing an arm. Ha! <laughs> you don't have a head. Wait, I can take... Loot? Possible loot? Sir, you appear to be dying. I helped. Pig. I missed. Oh, wrong button. I have a scanner. I feel like my shift button is a dodge. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the leader of the on Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. How do I. I feel like I can get. Why do I hear a robot calling for aid? Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Are you dying? Why are you? Shit! Uh, get away from me! I am not going in this hole. Ow! I've been kicked. Uh, go fuck yourself! I am dying. Thanks, old lady. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Why can't I look at you directly? Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? I had an axe! What happened to that? Are you going to give course, me your pitchfork? But I'm not giving you shit. Cool. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Are you sure? Shit, it's a chilla. Son of a bitch. What? 30 seconds, move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Ah, 
30 seconds until we're fucked, Sunny Boy. <laughs> Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. Holy crap, she does. Well, you can't do that anymore. You just lost that place. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. That's a. Get the loot box. Get the loot box. Nice job. Holy shit. Bad loot box. Granny, no. Except I didn't die in the outhouse. I died outside the outhouse. I almost died outside the outhouse. This is a long elevator! Holy crap! Can I move? Nope. We're not done yet. Is that my stop? Am I gonna stand up and it's gonna just fall down? Damn clusterfuck. <laughs> Let's check this place out real quick. Hello, dying robot. Give me your bits. Nom noms. So I need to go up there, but what is we over? Need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started. And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department Ooh. within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Oh. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Dushnevskaya. Oh, shit. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I didn't expect the fact I could chop their head off. Nope. Stupid bot. No, oh, I can. I just. You're gonna be a bot, aren't you? I have an axe! I got your gun! I'll return it to you! Don't worry, I'll definitely bring your shotgun back. Run with my ass. Scan! Okay. Scan! Oh, there's stuff on the other side of this wall. Are you... Are you dead? 
May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge Ow. are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Sheep on a shingle? Why didn't you tell me that before? Ow! Don't make me... Sit down. This rate I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation yeah, yeah, yeah. program called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Oh, these are my save things. Uh, is this it? Oh, those are my heal things. Loot. Ah, loot. Loot. Nom noms. More loot. Saving data. That's a weird phone. Oh, I was hoping I could break it. Can I go in here? It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Oh sh <laughs> May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. <sighs> uh, but we are allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <coughs> Go ahead. That's what I thought. <laughs> Dismissed. What the heck is this? Neat. I didn't pay attention to any of that. Ha! Door. Meet Axe, your natural enemy. There's loot on the other side of this. Can I break this window? Unbreakable windows. Can I open this door? Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Okay. I... Give me your bits. Give me more bits. I want all the bits. Sweet, delicious bits. Ugh. I don't got a problem, you got a problem. I'm not a Luca. Loot. All the loot. I need more. Infinite inventory. I don't have to worry about a thing ever again. Just... Take everything. Yes. Delicious goodies. Ugh. Out of my way! Any more? Loot? Loot! Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. How'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. So How do you know this? They? they have already been eliminated. Am but I a traitor? It's impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Axe! Ow! Give me a sec. Ha! <laughs> Missed! Oh, I got five of these. Give me a sec. Shotgun! Shotgun! Give me your bits. Give me your bits. All of the bits. Oh. 
What did you say your name was? Ooh. Audio lore. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered mm. myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one... Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Comrade. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. Uh, so how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay. Well, I'll if I just break it. I can say, may God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel, but I don't know how long we can keep the robot. I should have waited. Something's wrong. <clears throat> that elevator should. I'm gonna die! I died! <laughs> Falling rocks! My only weakness! Come on, get up, soldier. Who the heck? You got tentacles coming out of your head! How many fingers? Uh, Four. Four. Great, get up. <laughs> Say three. <I> <laughs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. Okay. To save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Just forceps, 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 forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. I do. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! What the heck is that? Why'd you get up? Gross. Never do that again. Ow! I guess what? I got a shotgun! You are quick! I have a shotgun though. <laughs> Shot! Oh, I'm out of bullets! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, give me your bits. Where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. <laughs> what am I doing? I see now. I didn't, that was confusing. It, it worked. <laughs> oh, I'm immediately on edge. I'm an itch. A lullaby? I don't Why are you talking so loud? What's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. And I'm walking towards her. Why? There's... Is that... Wait. Is that coming from the box of the... Thing. I'm over. Fading data. What the fuck? Fuck me! 
Um, I opened the refrigerator. It's now going to eat me. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to the sensor manipulator, quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute. Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Okay. <laughs> More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Okay. I don't know what happened. What's happening? Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Uh, okay. Personally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome. You can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you want <laughs> me. I'll service you however you want. Stop. A sword? A massive sword? Thrust and I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. <laughs> Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies. Oh. So they can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. I take it the facility is full of all It is indeed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, no, not really. I've, that fridge was weird. <laughs> I'm not addicted to loot. You're addicted to loot. Shut up. Damn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. I hear more music and that's disconcerting. Uh, supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> uh, funny. Don't like that music. Harold, help! What the heck I is take that? care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something and knock it out with an EMP. How do I pick things up? I don't. I don't. No, that's. That is very disorientating. Give loot. You have loot too, don't you? I oh know. Stop holding back. Give me the loot. 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 No. Yes. A little more. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, that's how I pick things up. Oh. What was that? Eh. I didn't see what that said. Did you guys see what that said? Eh. <laughs> Loot. <laughs> oh, you didn't see me. <laughs> Where's your head? I see him warped him. He's got a hole in his chest. I think you're dead. Loot! More loot! Yes. More? There's more so Yes, I was right. More. I can smell it. Where's the loot? I knew it. Give. All. Aha! You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. I was right, there was more. Give. That's a key. <laughs> this room is empty. Yes, empty. Can I pick up you? No. Oh! So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Please be just like they a butt. Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national <sighs> polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet more. Union Give. on Monday the 13th. And our okay. executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works oh, yeah. on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand. Not a Have a great weekend. I knew there was more. Uh, that thing has like a crappy vision sight. Oh, it doesn't have a crappy vision sight. Oh shit! Hello. Uh, 
Ah, screw it. Ain't no bots for you to call. Whatever, you're not gonna summon anything. Everything's dead. Shut up. Ooh, can I go in here? No. There we go. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Uh -huh. You better say yes, boy. <laughs> Hold on, let me just eat things through my hands. That guy is dead. This is a passive Oops. security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Uh, like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. What if I were to see the future? Okay. Unlock the passive security relays. Okay. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. Shut up! I'll kill you. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Or I could take the one in the middle. Come back, Fox. I'm gonna do the one on the left. Human intuition. Button. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Oh, I do have a jump. <laughs> if you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. I figured it out. Yeah, I figured out how to zap things. Ow, I just got drop kicked. Spin a Rooney! Stay away from me. I'm eating this ball. Hi. your upper half? Oh, there it is. Fading data. Authorization. Major Nichayev. Codename P3. Access granted. You're not a
Aww. Can I... Barrel stock magazine. Increases fire rate and increases accuracy, sure. I don't think I can get that. Or that. Steel blade. I'm out. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? Oh, this is me now. Well, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't get anything else. Man, I thought all the upgrade bots were gonna be like the first one. <clears throat> There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Is there a functioning one? I'm gonna go with no. What do they think of the game so far? It's... It's interesting. That's death. Has a very interesting premise. It's fun. Funny. That's blood. I'm avoiding those like through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kinda like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. So peaceful. What? I can swim th What the heck? Do I need to breathe? I'm worried that I need to breathe. How long is this? Eh. What the heck? Supposed to restart the line. There should be a control. There's the control panel. Of course, it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Oh, okay. What? Uh, what was that? Are you dead? Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Just like everything here. They won't go. No, won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station monster has it. Control zones. He didn't make it. Such a city will not be fast as me. Died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. You'll be free Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Will be Moscow too. The brand new Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He has it with him. 
Station Master. Find it. What Find the? It. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. We're now with Maybe I should have said thank you. Can I? Holy shit, a talking course. No schematic. No gold. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Oh no, it just starts over. Schematic. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. So he's somewhere in here. I'll swim through this! No. That's weird. This game's funky. Hey, do you got a thing? No. So got dead guy over here. Oh, this opens. Ooh, loot. Oh, hello. Get zapped. That this is so weird. There it is. Oh, I'm adapted to silly. I need to find that piece of paper. Who the heck did it go? Oh, it's so dark. <clears throat> Let's head to the station. Get the cable cars online and get out of here. Give me the code. Do it now. Can I drag you? Oh wait. The station master. I can get there with my eyes closed. We'll make it. It's dot dot dot. Uh, it's up. We just need to make it to the cable car specific. Boop 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 boop. Okay, I think I understand. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. Ah! Oh. The more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. So I think it was. I'm smart. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Sorry, no ticket. <laughs> Rebel. How fast is this gonna move? Seven, <laughs> this could be like a roller coaster. We go. This is polymer on the ceiling. It's gonna break right here, isn't it? It's gonna be a bumpy ride. That looks important. Oh. Oh. I'm. Oh. Okay. I want off this wild ride. There was a laser guy. This was absolutely worthless. Fuck. I knew it was going to be rough. Susa. Shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Rah! Fucking tin man. <laughs> Come and get me! Come on! Hit me! Do it better! We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh. Of 
Looks like I thought my game froze. Haha! <laughs> Didn't give me a single prompt, I figured this shit out! <laughs> I was ready to jump back down. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals. <laughs> Shit! That's, that spooked me. I've been spooked. <laughs> I didn't know there was that. I don't know there were little animations with that. That's funny. That startled me. Shit. You again. Careful. Powering up. Gap up ahead. I see it. Ow. I will live. You cannot stop me now. Because I'm dying. Well, I guess we're about to see this one. Oh, that one's lame. <laughs> the worm's funnier. Just push, bam. <laughs> I did get drilled. <sighs> oh, I have to hit a button. Shit! You again? Careful! There's a gap up ahead. I see it. I was tired with you guys. Give me your bits. Give me your bits. Oh, it wanted me to jump on we that, but I just. To move <laughs> but frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Uh. I'm just riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Oh. Quick reflexes, Major. You bet. Uh, I wouldn't survive without him. Should be fine here. I'm trying to get up. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed, it was. Robs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Yum. Oh, you're not dead. Eat axe. Get up. I do like how you can see the damage you've dealt to these guys. <laughs> Punched my face into the dirt. Hope I don't have to do all that parkour again. Jeez. Wait, I have a zap thing. I can use my zap. Oh, I do have to do this again. Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Give me your bits. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. Can I? Do you have mountaineering training? This is a dumb I'm idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can land on this. I've got all kinds oh. of I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. <laughs> don't say anything, don't say anything. I'm aware of it. Shut up. Little 
looks like too. Say hello to the worm. Ooh, hello shit. worm. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes. Yep. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. I'm gonna have to fight one of those, aren't I? Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. The robots can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Hi. I have counter towards you. It's called shotgun. Nom. 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 I wasted a shotgun shell. <gasps> loot. Gib. Gib loot. What irony is so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Barab roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machine. The control panels got buried under the rubble. And now they're on their own. Digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking. Something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. You worked on the Barovs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be. No artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No hardly anything stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borogs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's mind. It needs love, care, or it'll <clears throat> confusion. I could chop off your head. Loot! Loot. There's more. More loot. 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 I feel it. Loot is this way. Into the hole. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. That next time? Fun. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Go. Uncrouch. Chase until you see one come past you. Go on this side until you see one come past hey. you. Ah! This is my stop. Oh. What a nice trip. Loot. They just gave me a lot of shotgun shells.
Uh, hey. Oh, a laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. You see one? That means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your... Honey, you're back! What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Look, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Mm. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say. <laughs> your defense is too active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> that hurt. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I... Jeez. Uh. I feel as if I'm in danger. I have been a. Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Must be such an ups guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. Don't step on anything that cracks. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. I found you. Hands up. What's going on? I have a hand. Hands behind your head. I have a hand. Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. Fear my hand. You're going to Chelemy. Save yourself. Chelemy. I'm gonna zap you. Comrade Major. I'm gonna zap you. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion. Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Yeah, I don't like that. Stop existing. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Ah! Get away from me! This is my boomstick, and you will respect it. Itch. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's gotta be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Lower. Please listen to this, Chirper. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. I'm scared. I'm really scared of them. Back home. Remember, family members of those convicted... You've got nothing to be scared of. You're... Dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me. I'm scared of them! Scared of what? 
The robots? No! <clears throat> robots kill quickly and simply, but they... <clears throat> His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, comrade major. Got it. People here are getting what? killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. Ah, uh, door's locked. Oh, there's the vent. I got a gun. Let's make this quick real quick. Thing. So, do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily. An implosion? The candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Things like a massive drop, but I still made it. Are going nuts. Kip, is this Kip. doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage Kip. them with a simple axe. Shock Kip. therapy usually works pretty Kip. well on that cases. Metallic or Kip. otherwise. Gib. 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 I don't even give, give, ha! Ah. Bad. Give, 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 give. Gib. Gib. Yeah, that sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Looting! <laughs> Running. Looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. <clears throat> How? Almost. Can I... Oh, that's what that is. Get zapped! Bitch! That spin is garbage! Remind me never to use that spinning. Ooh, loot! More loot! Loot. Loot. 
shoot. What if you died and the last thing that was going through your head was just a song? It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum <laughs> mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. This is the lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. I stopped by the archive yesterday, and everything there is so automated. We won't have to work at all pretty soon. What's this thing? Sit there listening to music. Here's a piece. Robots can't appreciate it the way we do. Whoa, there's fish in here. Loot? No loot. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but... It would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. Hi, can I have this thing? There it is. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that yeah. stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me. I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting dream. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. Do you like it, sugar? <laughs> this is so weird. My best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Oh, okay. That uses some. He's a stamina. What was Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The yeah. chief realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves, and the soldiers defending the facility. Will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared like me. Would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the <sighs> traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. I accidentally cut off a lot of that guy's stuff. So then I just dump all of these in here. I've got one. I got more than one. I've got another one. I got them all. Uh, done. I think it worked. Oh, that's just the. <laughs> okay. Woo. Whew, this place is huge, and it's got such enough. All over it. Where did he go? So, where are we? This is the seed. Ow! The heart of the Vavilov complex. Bitch! Samples of seeds from all manner of bitch. plants are stored here so they can bitch. be cultivated to bitch. grow on the moon bitch. and Mars. Bitch! 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 When they're in here, they're not, you know, massively horny. When they're out here, they are. That was a box. Ooh, 
Ooh, loot. All of the loot will be mine. You can't have it. <laughs> There's loot over there. Can I? Can I just? Eh. I want that. I want that. I want that. Mine. You can't have it. Mine. <laughs> Told you it was mine. That's also mine. <sighs> Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Give me your shit. Stop that. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm looking for loot. Oh, okay. Um. I don't know. I'm leaving. Ah, uh, now this is a thing. This is a thing. Okay, so can I? Oh my gosh, jump! I don't know. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. Stop that. You have no face! How do you tell when I'm done with you guys? Easy. I pull out a shotgun. You're gonna lose your head. I don't need to let you two in, apparently. Where's your legs, huh? Don't see those no more. Hi. Get over here. Oh, hello. Thanks for that. Looks I knew it! There was loot! Gib. Also Gib. I can get up there. I can get up there. How did I not get the loot from you? Uh, I made it! I made it! Okay, okay, okay. 
Where do I go from here? I can't get up there. Hit the button. Get me now, losers. I didn't mean to go in here. Zapping of me. Could you not? No power. Got no power. Stop with the zapping of me. charged yet. Does it fix it? It does fix itself. That's lame. So mine. Yep. Yep. This game feeds my loot hobliness. More. Don't move. It. I didn't need to do that. I just wanted to zap you. You are dead, my good. Very 
useful that I can just... I understand how that works now. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Blew his head off. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. The loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. I see now. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Okay, so then we... Are you serious? Okay. That one was confusing. Ooh, goodies. an idiot couldn't avoid these guys basically did it without looking go up go up again come on man this is easy I'm even carrying your little orby thingy open I hold the orb. Oh. Open! I have placed the orb. Will you... Will you... How many of these are you going to spit at me? Because they suck. But they are good for looting. Delicious loots. Oh, I need to grab the other one. I see. Come here. That's annoying. What? The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power oh. them, but installing them 
activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Get a canister at the hot workshop. Where the heck is that? That's in Russian. I can't read that. Oh, you just magically open, huh? Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I going to turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Neat! Where's my thing? Apparently I can't go on the stairs. That's where I came in. I think. Whatever. This is con button. Hold up, there's loot. Could have sworn I smelled more loot. So it's telling me to go this way, but I want to go this way. Oh, you're still going. Ah, it's hot as balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Yeah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. <clears throat> I can go back. Aha! Hack the door, hand. Oh, this is just back in there. Okay. What's further down? Oh, sh. Oh, sh. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Oh, their heads just pop. Zombie rules. They're not coming back now. If I shoot that with a hat. Okay, maybe not with the electric gun, but what about an axe? Huh. Alright. I'll reload my shotgun. Hehehe. <laughs> Try a sneak kill, seeming how I failed the last one. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. Let's see. I hate you. Lose a head. Or your entire upper half. Give me your bits. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit. A can e. filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Your bits. I'd rather just hit you with an axe. Like this. Okay, Faster. I found the opening. Okay. Ha! Mm. 
Oh. Okay. I was busy looting. These people are horny. Why do they have peg legs? Okay, did that do anything? Uh, what do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? This is annoying. Why don't you just fall? Gee, are you sure? I killed you. Don't. You're stupid. Give me your bits. It's a good Dude. thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. That is a good point. These are annoying. You're a more functioning bot. Sit down. Don't you just love it when you decide to eat healing with your hand? Get in the tube. Came up with all this shit. Yes, shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Babylon complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Oh, don't tell me I have to go all the way. Holy crap. How have these boilers not exploded, by the way? In you go. Don't eat. I'm going to kill you now. Bitch! Give me your shit. You too. Where's your... Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. I failed and my job. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. 
If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Close up. I mean, I needed that, but still. Do I just zap this? No, I climb. I climb. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. So I'm going to go a little longer. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. I suppose I mean it's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and be a steel worker, eh? Perhaps shit. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack tongues don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come here for it to me, Flop. Once the update collected, everything will be hunky-dory. And if someone starts bitching, hey, hey. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around mm. somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of this homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. My guy has a very nice voice, by the way. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis. But I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after the job caused the malfunction. I see what the guy was afraid of now. I feel like that torso just moved. More loot. More. More. Gib. Gib. Okay. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Well, apparently I missed that. Hi. Also bye. Where's the save point? Jeez, how many of you are there? Can I just hold F and Oh I can Auto losing Auto-looting. 
need savey do. Goodbye. Your bets. Uh... I'm busy looting. Leave me be. How did you hit me? Your head is on fire. I want loot and you're filled of it! Where'd you go? You're underneath me, Gib. Hey! Hey! Can you, can you finish me off, please? What the? J just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here? But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Okay. Uh, what? What makes you think the whole place is gone tits up? This happened in Babylon alone. People from other complexes. Mm -hmm. already. It's happening everywhere. Isn't it obvious? Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Be quick, it hurts a lot. <laughs> I don't know how I'll help you, man. Okay, uh, can I just? Almost. What is happening in there? That's a big robot. Shit, that Hedgie's lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. Harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door oh. to the shop. We can just climb through the window. That's good. I was meaning to find one of these. Saving data. Okay. This is where I end my stream. So farewell, goodbye, good night, farewell, bye bye. Bit a 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 bit a